Uh, hi folks, welcome to Hustle Mash. So in the previous video, we saw how we can use ChatGPT for our Shine on POD game. You now know how to create message cards using ChatGPT. You can also use ChatGPT for pro writing product descriptions, titles, keywords for SEO purpose, and so on. You can even rely on ChatGPT to create an FP advertisement. So the options are plenty. But in this very video, we'll be talking about a, another AI tool called Midjourney. It generates images based on the text you are providing. Let's say we are typing superhero dog. It will give you a dog with probably the cape, the superhero costume and all. I don't know. We'll check it out. How can we leverage Midjourney? So in Shine On, you know that most of the people rely on the message card jewelry collection. But however, there is a different set, the graphical necklaces. So in this very video, we will be specifically looking into the luxury dog tag necklace. So as you can see on the screen, this comes with a chain and it comes with a dog tag where you can print your design or text. So the idea is simple, generate the image from the mid-journey, upload it into the Shine On app and create the dog tag necklace. So let's see how we can do that. So before we proceed, as usual, let's roll on that intro. Let us get started. To use Midjourney, you need an account in Discord. For those who don't know about Discord, it is a chat app like Telegram, WhatsApp that allows people to chat. It's mostly used for gaming communities. People can join different servers on Discord to participate in different groups and communities. So if you don't have Discord account, let us set it up. Head on to midjourney.com. I recommend you access this via your desktop or laptop over your smartphone. Once the page loads, click on sign in button. You will be asked to sign in to your discount account. So if you don't have a discount account, click on the register here button and you can create the account. I'm not going to explain on that. If you already have a discount account, well and good, let's proceed. Just enter your credentials and click on login. In the next page, you will be asked to verify that your email capture challenges will be thrown to you. Post this also, sometimes the mid journey tool might not load for you. If that is the case, go back to midjourney.com, click on join beta button. In the next screen, you will be asked to accept the invite. Click on the accept invite button. Post that, you will get into the Discord app. In the left side, you can see a sidebar. Currently, I am part of two rooms. The white icons correspond to that. The second one with the boat logo is the midjourney room. In your case, it will be just single room if you are a new Discord user. Each room has a menu associated with it. When you click on the midjourney room icon, a menu will come. Here you can see home, support, and other subrooms. Let us click on newbies hyphen 102. So this is a subroom. So inside this, you can see the images created by people. Being how with the images created by a scroll down or up, but do notice each image is associated with a text. For example, these pumpkin images were created by providing the text create an illusion of a pumpkin, comma, for kids, comma, 4K, comma, playfully, comma, cute. This is a text provided by user to create this particular image. Let us see how we can create an image. At the bottom, you can see a big text field where you can type in your message. To create image, your message should start with the keyword slash imagine. So let's type in slash imagine. This will bring up a prompt. Select it and insert the prompt area. You will need to type your specific text. Let's type in a making money online comma cartoon. If you want, you can also specify the aspect ratio. For this, you need to type hyphen hyphen AR and mention aspect ratio. For now, let us keep it simple. Just text will do. Once your text prompt is ready, hit enter. Your message is now on the feed. You can see the status towards the end, waiting to start. Now, one thing you need to realize is that many others are using this particular room and hence your message will go up as the recent messages come into the feed. So to see your message, you need to scroll up. Your message will be highlighted in a different color. It is in a slight yellow shade and at the left side of your message, you can see a yellow line. This helps you to easily distinguish your message. Okay, the status have got changed. The tool has started creating your message. How much percentage it have completed towards the end of your message. Don't be scared by seeing the current view of images. Once it is 100%, meaning completed, these will be four beautifully created images. 
So for each text prompt, Midjourney creates a set of four images. Now it is 31 percentage weight. Usually it takes under a minute to create the image. It's 62 percentage. It's 93 percent, and so it's progressing. More messages came in, and we have lost our message. Let us scroll up and try to find our message with the image. As you can see, it is difficult to find your messages in this flood of lot of messages. One hack would be to search and find the message using your username. My username is bloggerx, but if you do Control plus F, it will take you to the Discord in-house find tool only. I won't recommend it. Instead, if you are using Chrome browser, click on the three dots on the top right corner. You can see the find tool on the menu. Click on it. Search for the word bloggerx, which is my username. Voila! I have found my message and the image. The image is fully ready to view now. You can click and see the image. You can click on the link that will open in browser to view the actual image and you can right click and save the image which is trivial let us go back and understand the tool better as you see there are four images let us number these let us number this as one two three and four below these images you can see some options the first option you will scale your image basically u stands for upscale so if you click on youtube it will upscale the second image v stands for variations if you click on v3 mid journey will create four more variations of that third image and you have refresh icon next to this to generate another set of four images for the same text prompt. In case you want to see all the images you have generated so far, you can just go to midjourney.com and sign in. For example, I have signed in and now I am seeing all the images I have generated in midjourney. So this is another place where you can look out for your images in case you are not able to locate your message in the discord room. You can hover on any message and a pop-up will come. Click on the three dots and you will find the option to open the image in Discord. I think that's all the basic knowledge you need to know about the Midjourney tool. Yep, so that's a tutorial. So in, by now you know what is Midjourney tool. So now next step is like how to write a proper prompt. Let me make things easy for you. So head on to prompt.moonshot.com. It's a free tool. Let's say enter like a dog superhero as the text. Here you can choose many options like you can choose the styles, depth of field, lighting, all those th things can be chosen and the respective prompt will be auto populated for you. Just copy it and paste it into the mid-journey discord room. So that's how you can refine your prompt. At least some of you will be watching this video after seeing the title, make $100 per week. How do you do that or make $100 per day? I don't know. Uh, as of now, I haven't decided the title, but definitely. The title is clickbaity. Is clickbaity a word? No, but you got the idea, right? Even though it's a clickbait, uh, let me explain how you can make money. So if you're following this channel, either you will be shelling shine on on Amazon or in Etsy platform. So either of these platforms, you're already shelling the shine on and you will be knowing what is shine on. Shine on is a POD service where you can upload designs and you can list the necklaces on the e-commerce stores, be it your own store on Shopify or other platforms like Amazon or Etsy. That's what you're currently doing. And you're trying to sell these necklaces. So the idea like I explained is basically simple. Now you know about mid journey tool and you're targeting something called as dog tag necklaces. Generate the art from the mid journey, upload it and list your dog tag necklace. So that's the basic idea. Now, how can you make, let's say $100 per day? So the idea is like, be it Amazon or Etsy, upload more number of necklaces, increase the probability of a sale and thus make money. Now, how do you decide on what art needs to be generated? So head down to amazon.com in Chrome, I would recommend to use Chrome browser and in Chrome browser, install a plugin called DS Amazon QQ. Search for dog tag necklaces on the search results on each of the result, on each of the product item, you can see now, a rank. This is the rank from Amazon. So the lower the number, the better the sales. So that's the basic idea. Identify the products which is having less rank. From these designs, list down the keywords you are going to target. Based on these keywords, enter the prompt in mid-journey, generate the art, make your own dog tag necklaces and list them on Amazon via the Shine on Shopify app. That's it. What I would recommend is like don't target on the festive seasons. Try to target on evergreen niches. It can be like the usual ones, like two wife, two daughter and everything. But when it comes to dog tag necklaces, be more specific. Focus on astrology, astrology symbols, cosmos symbols, uh, medical alert, EMT necklaces, 
പെറ്റ് റിലേറ്റഡ് നെക്ലസസ് പോലീസ് ആർമി ഫയർമാൻ ആൻഡ് സോ ഓൺ സോ ആസ് എ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് പിക്ക് വൺ സ്പെസിഫിക് നിഷ് ഫ്രം മിഡ് ജേണി ജനറേറ്റ് ട്വൻറ്റി ഓർ ലൈക്ക് ലെറ്റ്സ് എ ടെൻ ഡിസൈൻസ് ഓൺ ദാറ്റ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർ നിഷ് അപ്ലോഡ് ദിസ് ഓൺ എ സിംഗിൾ ഡേ ബിക്കോസ് യു ആർ നോട്ട് ഡിസൈനിങ് so obviously you can do this in a single day if you are relying on ai tools the idea is like to accelerate the process so try to upload more number of designs per day so that's a idea that's the, uh, that should be the agenda and that's how you increase the probability of a sale so when it comes to etsy how you, how can you do that rely on some tool uh, for example you can rely on a tool called etsy hunt so if you sign up on the etsy hunt tool you can see product research options you can see keyword options so based on the keywords or based on the product research try to find the best sellers or try to find the identify the keywords which is having traffic which is having good views but the competition is less so pick on those topics and generate the art from the mid journey tool and upload it let's go ahead by one step so you, in shine on you know there is a bulk generation tool i have already talked about in my previous videos so if you are generating 10 designs on mid journey do one thing specify this aspect ratio so this will generate the images which is relevant to the dog tag designs you don't need to crop it or upscale or anything just up, use the bulk generation tool upload let's say you are having 10 designs from mid journey you can upload 10 designs in one shot and you can generate 10 designs now if you are using amazon use an app called cd commerce or code is to upload it to your amazon store so it's as simple as that upload more designs increase the probability get sales now before i conclude the video let me address one issue of course mid journey the use using mid journey or using an ai tool is debatable mid journey is obviously in at least in my perspective it's a derivative art when i said derivative in the sense like it's a a app which is trained on the existing images that is available in internet so there could be copyright images being consumed by the mid journey app without the consent of those creators or those or those artists so 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 in that perspective using mid journey for making money is unethical but my thought my thought process is like the way it is looking a is going to be future and it is going to up the game so i would suggest to get into the bad wagon if you want to accelerate the process but it's totally your call understand the reasons if you see the mid journey page terms and everything it's legal but still like i mentioned mid journey is getting trained on millions of images from internet which can include copyright images but however as of now the image generated by the mid journey tool is copyright free so be diligent with the keywords you are using use the tool carefully with that said i am signing off see you in the next video